What up everyone, it's Kirtan Singh. Welcome back to another video itself. Today we are talking about the limited series clickbait, which you can actually find on Netflix and everything, and how it failed to deliver its final blow in building up the suspense drama. So the show itself follows Nick Brewer who goes missing and is revealed to, in a video itself posted online that he's been kidnapped, he's going to be killed at 5 million views because he abuses women. And then the story follows Pia, his sister and the family and everything as they try to find out where he is, try to save him and then after he dies, find out who did it. Obviously there's a quick spoiler there but I'm gonna go into a lot of spoilers in the show if you obviously haven't guessed by the title itself. Um, so don't watch this until you've actually seen the show or if you just don't really care you just want to know why I think the show failed. There's not too much I want to talk about. Honestly the on biggest problem with the show itself is the writing. It feels like it tries to do too much and it's not even done doing too much because at some times the pacing is really slow and I just feel like oh this is dragging on. It's just the writing could be tighter and it could have been polished up a lot more to kind of make the final blow, the reveal itself, a lot more satisfying. The way the episodes are structured is that each episode focuses on one character and it builds on the story. But then um, obviously there are other characters which play a role, you know, previous characters, new characters that enter the story and still have their own little arc going on as they try to do what they do to find out who's done it. Problem is that there are a lot of red herrings and a lot of them lead to nowhere and that's fine but because you know you want to throw us off the course and everything but you can't have all these storylines set up and all these potential reveals set up to pull them all just from under us and then just have this final episode reveal everything and just make it so unsatisfying. So the biggest few uh, you know problems in the writing I want to point out uh, starts off with the women's volleyball team. One, I was also very confused as to whether these were high schoolers or not. I'm guessing not because no one said anything wrong was wrong with Matt's relationship with one of them. Um, the only problem thing problematic thing sorry he did was that. He posted pictures online and everything. Beyond that itself, the girls, the way that they talk is that they're hinting at Nick doing something bad. Um, no one ever hinted at the fact that it was Matt. The only reason we would suspect it's Matt is like, my my mom was saying for early on, oh, it could be Matt, it could be this person, it could be all this. And yeah, it could have been because he seemed pretty sus trying to shush the girls up and everything. So the way that they wrote the dialogue was to give us the audience the impression that they're talking about Nick when in fact they weren't, or at least they weren't saying bad things about Nick. So the reason that they wrote it like that was to, to throw the us, the audience off, but not for the characters. This carries on with uh, the husband, uh, not sorry, the husband, the man that uh, the Sophia or Sophie has an affair with, the wife, she has an affair with him. And, you know, he plays a role It's like, oh, he could be a potential killer and everything. We see him get in a fight in the bar and then it goes nowhere. It just kind of ends. We don't find out why they fought in the bar. Uh, we don't really find out at least the honest truth behind everything. And we don't really find out, you know, what happens to him or anything. If you, you know, introduce him, you want to go this way, you know, sure, you have to still give it a little bit of a better ending than just leaving it as is. This all builds up to the final episode because the rest of the storylines aren't all that bad the pacing's a little off here and there it was they did make us you know see uh, the mistress's episode from her point of view so that way it's fine if we see her meeting nick in person doing all these kind of things it makes sense it works because we're seeing it from her point of view she imagined him there she's crazy and that kind of seems to be a running thing and it's a lot of the perpetrators or whatever just seem to be crazy like the reveal of the receptionist being the killer and everything like that and being the person behind the, you know, the fraud and everything, it just felt so out of nowhere and really poorly done and unsatisfying. So if I'm unsatisfied by watching this, you know, something's wrong. And the bad writing, which I previously mentioned with the other characters, continues on in this final episode itself with the husband of the receptionist, because at first, like, you know, they're having this little off relationship. Um, and then when the receptionist starts, you know, making this fake dating profile and doing all these kind of things, uh, she, the husband and her, they have sex and the husband goes to get a drink. For some reason, instead of getting the drink, he ends up at a computer and reads all the messages and, and does all these things. But it just, just, it just seems off. It doesn't make sense why that would happen because we know last time he accidentally walked in and everything, she suddenly closed the computer down and, you know, hit it off from him and everything. But now this time, for whatever reason, he ended up in her room, saw the messages, got angry and left. And then we eventually find out that he came back thinking that she stopped doing all this kind of stuff. But how did he not end up checking on it again? Did she just end up doing all these fake profile stuff at work itself? Because if that is the case, they would be able to figure out that someone from that volleyball club or whatever was posting all these things, doing all this kind of stuff. Because I swear, 
the police are really incompetent in this, but the kids are bloody geniuses doing all these, you know, technology savvy things, doing all these things which the police can't, even a reporter does more than the police. And the police would fail at this if it wasn't for all these teenagers, kids, reporters and family members doing things that they really shouldn't be doing and shouldn't be able to do. Creating all these apps, tracking all these locations and everything. Yeah, carrying on with the husband itself then. When he finds out that, you know, she's still been doing it and everything, he, you know, he's the one who ends up killing Nick when he comes to the house and confronts her. Why did Nick go straight to the house to confront her? I don't know. It's a really stupid thing to do, but they needed it to happen that way. Yeah, it would have made sense if it was the friend and then he didn't know who did it. So he went to the friend's house because it was nearby or something. But they didn't really play it off that way. They played it off like he was trying to get to the receptionist's house and everything like that. Um, so... It just felt like you people are being stupid the same way the kids are real idiots like um, when uh, the older son is talking to Al 2005 and then he's like how can I trust you all this kind of stuff when the sister gets in his head about it just video call her if you don't like he's afraid to go and meet her there's all this tension around the fact that he's going out to meet her at this address it could be the killer or something who knows why don't you just video call her if you know Obviously, we know kids in this universe or whatever are so, you know, technological, technologically smart and they can do everything and anything they want to. But come on, that's an easy solution and gets rid of the tension. If you want a reason not to do that, you have to explain it in the writing or you have to explain it in the story. The younger son then reads the messages, goes off on his own. He's a real idiot and really annoys me. And the writing just really lets this down. Like I said, all these red herrings, the lack of, you know, really compelling and great characters. And then a final episode which just tries to shove everything down your throat, pull the rug from under you and just say, here, this is who it was all the time. You better believe it because of these small things. And that's not how you end, you know, this build up to who done it. If it ended with it being the brother of the mistress, I would have been like, oh, okay, that's cool. Make it six episodes, do it, end it like that. And that's all I need. I didn't need another twist because I was invested and I really liked that episode with the brother and everything because that was really well done but then they had to keep it going and you know try to pull more twists and everything and obviously if they ended up with the brother they would have to you know resolve the whole volleyball thing earlier nonetheless that's why I think clickbait kind of fails at its own purpose it it could have been really good it's a nice idea the title is totally misleading because they mention it a few times that it's it's catfishing this person's catfishing all these other people all these women and everything like that then why are you calling the movie the show clickbait call it catfish but then that would just reveal what's going on you have to call it clickbait because this shows a clickbait you think it's something else and it's it's misleading the name title's misleading but uh that's just a small little thing I, i'm like frustrated about but nonetheless uh hopefully you know you've enjoyed this video you understand why i kind of don't really like the show i think it's a fine show it's like a four or five out of ten that's not a fine show but no uh, it's it's borderline good because at least it looks nice and everything like that. I'll give it that. I enjoyed watching it. And there were some episodes which had me intrigued. So let me know if you like the show. If you are interested or not interested in it in the comment section down below. Make sure you hit that like button. And subscribe to my channel for more videos. And until next time. I'll see you guys.